Jim, we're looking at the S&P and we are at levels that we haven't seen since mid-May, right. kind of a shocker. But is the S&P overbought here? I think that there are a lot of people caught short and they keep hoping that the market will open down so they can bring in their short because this rally happened in the blink of an eye. It was all because of Europe and no one expected anything Europe did good. There was a fabulous trade going on, which was uh, to bet against Spain and the five year was inverting and that was a sure sign that Spain was about to become Greece. So it just made all the sense in the world to be short the S&P, which is how people do it. They don't short individual stocks. Subsequently, a lot of the individual stocks within uh, last week's report weren't that bad, uh, mostly because the earnings were good, not necessarily because the revenues were good. And the momentum built because Germany, apparently, everyone, a lot of the shorts felt, okay, well, look, one guy says, Draghi says that there's uniformity. Well, that is bazooka and right. says, I'll do whatever it takes. And then the next thing is, is that Germany doesn't diss it immediately. So that caused another wave of, of uh, covering. But then people felt that this morning there was going to be disappointment going into the gauntlet. And the gauntlet is so many economic numbers, as well as Fed, Fed on ECB. And what's happened going into these has been short covering rallies as people run out of ability to stay short. And that's what's happening now. They're running out of the ability to stay short. They just can't take the pain. Now, what's so interesting about this kind of market, Deborah, is, is that it's just an S&P back forth market. And if you try to pick individual stocks, you can actually do quite well. ATT, Kimberly, Clark last week, Colgate, um, 3M. But uh, the big guys just trade the S&P. And so the, everything's dragged up and down by that. So do you feel that, uh, that we'll, you know, when the Fed talks on Wednesday, that the market could pull back, that there's not a lot of real momentum behind this I move? think it will have a quick move down. Okay because the shorts really have to bang it down. Remember, this is one of the thinnest markets, and the S&P futures are so far overwhelming the stocks that it's entirely possible you come in with, you know, with a couple hundred million and knock the market down viciously. But then it's really hard to cover because there's no real sellers. The, you know, most of the people I know are desperate for performance. The market is only giving you performance on the way up. So uh, there will be, a, I, I think, the same thing over and over. We'll get an ECB, and people will think that that's no good. And then we'll get the employment number, and that will affect things. Okay. So, I mean, if you wanted to short, you have to believe that this employment number is going to be horrendous. Now, I, it's certainly understandable why you would think it is, because everyone, you know, from Ch Howard Schultz to uh, Dow Chemical said June's weak. But June better be weak or the short's going to be killed.